previously on Life of Mambo. As Mr. Mamoteo and Hibaro Guajiro waited for their homies' arrival, they roasted some weenies and did some exploring. Mr. Mamoteo found out pirates fuck manatees, and the manatees have womanly knees. They did a little more chilling, built a fire, cooked some food, and had a blast. Yo, good morning, guys. It's a pretty chill morning. I'm the first one awake, I think. But I need to go pee. I need to go pee real bad. So, I'm walking down the path. Uh, I'll show you guys the sun right now on the beach, but I need to go pee. Hey guys, it looks real nice. I'm gonna watch the corner, show you guys how it looks from there. Not really any pelicans diving off of this corner like yesterday. A guy fishing. Right there. Beautiful morning though, guys. So the plan today is, uh, we're between two beaches, two spots, something, uh, there's, there's this dive spot, like you can jump from these uh, multiple, I forgot something with sugar, uh, I forgot what it was called, and, or shacks. So we're between that or shacks. Cause uh, they are, the water's like kind of murky, a little bit murky. So we'll see what happens. Gotta go eat breakfast though first. The campsite's right there. Picked up all the tents. Just in case, you know, we know we're no rush, but don't like me, the last guy. Place cleaner than when you came, guys. Leave only footprints. Footprints. You gotta take care of this, guys. You gotta, you gotta take care of Mother Nature. I call it Mother Nature for a reason. Yo, yeah, guys. So, managed moving to the further corner of the beach because, like I told you guys, I wanted to snorkel. That rock wall with those like rocks and boulders sticking out of the water, like some Indonesian, Indonesian stuff. See how good it looks. Look at that. What's that? I think it's an eye. What? Yeah, guys, so we decided we're not gonna go to that corner. Uh, it's probably better if it gets clear, but one day, one day though, one day. Definitely wanna come back here though, because there's, uh, there's a lot of free divers here, so there's a lot of fish. Uh, and, you know, Walter loves spear fishing, so. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to uh, we're gonna go eat uh, just bakery, and then we're gonna go to this. It's called Muelle del Azúcar. We're gonna jump off this pier, and you know, hopefully, I'll do a flip without dying for you guys. <laughs> so guys, we made it to that bridge part. Uh, here we're gonna go right. It's like this long ass bridge that you can jump. It's like 30, 40, 50, 60 feet high. It's different levels. Water's really clear. It's like 60 feet deep. A lot of fish. And there's like some caves in the rocks. But we got here and we found out that it's been a year that they bought this and they're building homes and like little villas there for rich people, man. Like, it's sad, man. Like I did some light research and this area was bought illegally by Carlos Roman Gonzalez without the proper documents. This is a protected area for wildlife such as pelicans, turtles, and other marine and non-marine animals. Building this was already a hazard but destroying it and rebuilding homes is even worse. We have already seen the effect of this and protest organizations like Campamento El Pelicano are trying to stop this. And this is happening all over the island. This is not my footage, by the way. If you want to learn more, click the video in the description. FYI, it's in Spanish. But if you're American and are considering moving to PR, you should own up and do your research of the injustice that we are facing by being a colony of the US. The US, the place you call home. It's sad, man, what's happening in Puerto Rico, this colonialism. So we're gonna try to go to a different spot. We're thinking of maybe like doing a hike and then cutting across through like all the way through like this jungle path and then we can maybe make it there. Cause we can't enter there cause uh, the owner's there, so. 
It is what it is, guys. Instead, we decided to go dive this popular scuba diving spot next to this famous surf beach. It was very cloudy, and the water was very murky, but we saw a lot of parrotfishes and swam to this very nice cave spot. That's pretty cool. Hey, más para arriba. Let's go check out what's up there, guys. Oh yeah, it's more open there, yeah. Just gonna chill right here. Pretty neat spot. <laughs> hey guys. It's raining. Uh, my homies kept going uh, the other way. Uh, they kept snorkeling. I got out because honestly it was too murky, too cloudy. And it's just, you know, raining and coming and leaving, but constantly just cloudy. So, you know, it can't really, it, was, it wasn't that bad, you know, it wasn't that murky. It was like, a, it was still kind of clear. Like it could have been way, I, I've seen it way worse, but uh, you know, still, it was still kind of murky. You couldn't really see that far, especially with this cloudiness. Just, yeah, you're not gonna see anything. But it was still cool. Still good uh, to get in the water, get some kicks in. I'm gonna use this fresh water and get bathed. Feels good, feels good, man. Guys, by the way, check out this beautiful tree. It's called Seva. Uh, I don't know how you say it in English, but it even has an English name. Go check this beautiful tree out, guys. Look at that beauty. Let me, let me get the car out of the shot. <laughs> just love, I just, just love it how it's just green, a little bit of rock, and it's just this huge, beautiful tree. Look how big these uh these roots are, guys. It's called this is a Seva tree. Seva. Look how huge that is. Huge guys. How big this is. Look at this. Massive. Little roots. Beautiful trees, man. Beautiful trees. They're very old trees. This is a very old tree. It's been there for probably, I don't know how long, probably for like more than a hundred years, definitely. So they're very old trees. The bigger they are, the older they are. Hello, friend. What's your name? He's breaking twigs up there. Yeah. yeah guys, so two of our homies dipped and we saw this Peruvian place on the way back home that we might scar. I never tried Peruvian, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that beef stir fry. Lo más saltado. Beef stir fry, soy sauce, red wine, onions, cilantro, tomatoes, peppers, french fries, and white rice. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Oh my god, is, it, is that a Klondike bar going on? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Oh no, no, a phone Alright, trying out some new sauces here. Aji amarillo on the right. And rocoto, hola. Mm -hmm. Rocoto on the left. Let's try it with rocoto. Picante. 
Yeah, it's spicy. Sí. Y el de y este también. Creo que no. Yo sentí el más spicy primero. Este más spicy, no, no, no. Sí. It's like kind of like como like baby food. It is spicy though. Sí. Yeah, it's más spicy que eso. Pero like viene un poquito de you know, it takes a little bit, viene después. Yeah, it's it's yeah, yellow one, a bit spicier in the later. And the red one it's like a bit spicier at it's a bit spicy at the start. No, I said no 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 no. I mean no 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 that's white. Anything that's white and sauce usually no man I don't I don't like like hummus. And I tried them and I don't like I don't like them. I don't know, man. Alfredo sauce, no me gusta. It's too cheesy, man. Usualmente anything white sauce, I don't tend to like. I don't know. It's weird. Five minutes later. Gracias. All right, guys. Let's check this out. He had cilantro rice. <laughs> But you know, I'm more basic. <laughs> All right, let's try this out, guys. Let's get some of this, some of this meat, some of this, some of the veggies. It is hot, as in temperature. It is hot, but it is good. I'm gonna wild. Really good. Really good. All right, let's try this Inca Cola, guys. Yeah, come on, pineapple. Like a pineapple. It's just, it's like a pineapple with something. I can't describe the other part. Here, guys. So. It's been an epic trip, really. Uh, you know, cool weekend. Really nice. It's good. Uh, first time I've done like two days of camping. Two, oh, three days, two nights of camping. And like, I don't know. I don't know if it's ever or like more than 10 years. I'm not sure. Either or. But it's been a long, long time. I just dropped off, you know, Hibara Guajiro. If you like cinematic type of footage. And now for the weather. Today. He's the guy to check out. Make sure the description below. Anyways, see you guys on the next one.